hello friends welcome to our new video i am vivek and in this video i am going to show you how to create meta fields for the product variants so let's get started meta fields are an important feature in the shopify to store extra information that we want to store related to a product collection or product variants so let's see how we can add the meta field definition for the product variant to do that log into your shopify admin and go to settings now click on custom data here you will find an option for the variants click on it now let's add the definition for this product variant meta field now so for that click on the add definition now here for the demo purpose i am creating a meta field to store the name of images now for the same i will be adding the name as name of images the next field is the namespace and key let's keep it the same way so that we can uh, access this in the front end with the same name here is the optional field description Now next option is to select the type. Here we will be selecting the type of meta field that we are creating for the product variant. So click on the select type. And here you will see the Shopify provides various types of meta field to be created. Here is the most used list for the type, single line, multi line, integer, decimal, names, and other than that it has additional types of meta field like these all. For our purpose we will be using a single line of text to store the name of image. Also either it can be a one value or the list of values. Since the product variant can have multiple images I'll be choosing a list of values. Okay, here it provides some of the validations if we want to add like minimum character count, maximum character count or regex. For our demo purpose I'll keeping this as blank for the now. Now next is access so just to uh, make sure keep the storefront as checked as we will be uh, accessing this meta field at the storefront once we have done with adding all these information click on the save button to save the definition of meta field great now our definition for product meta field is added Let's move to the product page where we will be adding the values to this meta field to save the name of images for the product variant. Okay, so let's go to our product section. So here's the list of product. For the demo purpose, I'll be adding a new product. Let's give it a name of t-shirt. Let's add few images. Alright, so images added. <clears throat> Alright, so images are added now. Let's add the price for the product, which is the 250 for now. And uh, along with that, I'll be adding this to 200 grams of product. And the variants for the demo purpose I'll be adding just that color variant for now red and another one is green done now <clears throat> as you can see that the two product variants are created with the name of red and green also add the SKU for the product variant and let's save the product Okay, so the product is added with the variant of red and green. Now let's open the variant. 
to see the details and here you can see at the bottom our meta field that we created name of images has been shown here so what we will be doing we will be adding the name of images which are related to this variant for example right now uh, for the red variant I'll be adding the name as so these are the name of images which were which are related to this red variant and okay simply click on the save button now the next is uh, the green variant let's add the name of images for the green variant also all right so added we added the name of images for the green variant as well like we added for the uh, red variant click on the save button so uh, using the meta field we added the name of images for the product variants each for the red and green so this is how you can create a product variant meta field and save the additional information that we want to create save with the product page now let's for the demo purpose let's see the the values of these product images in the product page to do that let's go to our online store now click on the customize button open the product page for the for any product to select the product template so here I will be adding a custom liquids block all right perfect so uh, let's add the code here liquid code to show the name of images from the for the product variant so this is the liquid code for to show the name of images for the product variant here you can see that we are using the namespace and that and key that we created in the meta field section for the product variant now let's check out how after saving this how this is being shown in the front end so this is our front end and let's click on the product okay so now you can see for the demo purpose this the name of product image product variant images that we saved in the meta field is now being shown this is just for the demo purpose uh, to show how you can access the front uh, the product variant meta field in the front end in the coming videos i'll show you how to use this information to perform different type of actions at the product page in the shopify i hope you find this video informative so stay tuned for the upcoming videos on the this product variant meta field where we will be showing different types of demos to use this kind of meta field so that's all for the video if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such shopify tips and tricks if you have any questions or require further assistance please let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video until then keep making progress in your shopify journey thank you